Hello everyone, today we're going to go over IXL H3, Explore Energy Transformations Roller Coaster Ride. So for this one, it's a little bit different. I'll just go over several of the challenges here and there because it's kind of acts more like a storyline. So I'll kind of walk you through the process of what the uh, questions are asking and stuff like that. So let's get this started. <clears throat> Which of the following is better evidence that the train's kinetic energy changed? So in this example, you need to remember that the kinetic energy involves any type of energy when an object is in motion. So when you read these two statements, which one sounds like an object was in motion or had a change in motion? So first one saying electricity started flowing to the motor that talks about electricity, so I'm like, eh, doesn't really sound like something moved. I mean, I guess you could argue electricity moved, but I don't see like a tangible object moving. Whereas in this one, it said the train was stopped and then it began moving forward. That's a lot clearer, so I'd go with this one for kinetic energy changed. Okay, moving on to the next question. The motor was used to convert blank into blank. So it's either kinetic energy to electrical energy or electrical energy to kinetic energy. So what was the final result? The motor pulled the train forward. So if you're moving from one place to another, that would be considered kinetic energy. So in this instance, I'd say electrical energy was converted into kinetic energy. So it made the thing, made the cart move, the train move. Okay, now we're moving on to this one. This is where it gets a little bit more interesting. Click the blue words to correct the statement. As the train rushed down the hill, the kinetic energy did what? If you're moving down a hill, do you start moving faster or do you start moving slower? For most of us, you tend to go faster. So I'd pick increased. And the gravitational potential energy stored between the train and the earth blank. So if you're going down a hill, are you getting closer to the center of the Earth, or are you getting further away from the center of the Earth? I would say you're getting a little closer because you're getting closer to the ground. So I'd say decrease. All right, moving on to the next one. Which piece of evidence best supports the claim? The claim being that as the train rushed down the hill, the, uh, the gravitational potential energy was converted into kinetic energy. So just reading this part, <clears throat> I look for a statement that talks about an object in motion. That's what I would assume, like something moving or moving fast. So let's see, train kept moving when it reached the flat part of the track. Uh, maybe. The speed of the train increased as the height of the train decreased. That sounds actually pretty good because we're talking about the uh, speed of the train. Faster movement, that means more velocity. More velocity is more energy, more kinetic energy, I mean. And then height of the train decreased. Yes, height is also a factor of potential energy. So that sounds pretty good. Let's see, people in the train felt like they were being pushed down at the bottom of the hill. Eh, that, that's a totally different experience. That's more like the wind and stuff like that pushing you, I guess. So I go with the middle one. All right, so we'll go over one or two more and then we'll leave the rest to you. Uh, as the train went up the hill, blank was converted into blank. So once again, <clears throat> if you're going up a hill, what's happening? Are you moving faster or slower? You're moving slower is my guess. Uh, secondly, the higher you get and the more elevation and the more distance there is between you and the center of the earth, the greater the potential energy becomes because you're higher off the ground. So I would pick this one for the first one because the kinetic energy, the energy used to move you is disappearing and now it's being stored inside of you getting ready to go down the next ramp. <laughs> All right, moving on to the next one. As the train went down the hill, um, this would probably be the opposite of what the first one was. So the potential energy was then converted back into kinetic energy because now you're moving down real fast. 